So today we're going to go on a tour of their yard. It's St. Augustine Bermuda mix. We're going to take a look at it, see how it looks, and then show the backyard. There's a pool getting put in. I measured it for some sod. That'll be delivered here in a few weeks. I'll be back down again for spring break. So hopefully I'll get to put that sod in because that'll be a whole lot of fun. And we'll just see how it goes. I'm venturing out into new territories. So enjoy this ride. As you can see, no, not too, too bad. Have some St. Augustine with a whole, whole lot of Bermuda mixed in. So we're gonna take a look at it. I really, really wish he would, uh, you know, get rid of the St. Aug and go Bermuda, but that's not gonna happen due to their wet summers. He can't mow as frequently, and the St. Aug gives you a little bit of leeway in that to where you don't have to mow every other day. So let's take a look and see what they have. Okay, so we got a pretty good close up here. Got a little bit of St. Aug, but there's tons of Bermuda. I want to pull a little bit of this out. Okay, so you can see the green up going on here. They did have a freeze, I don't know, maybe three or four weeks ago here in this part of Florida. So expected to have some brown. This also is cut like at four and a half inches. So you're going to expect all the brown underneath and just green at the top. Okay, this is a pretty good example of the inner node spacing. As you can see, it's pretty dense. The leaf texture is very fine. So while you would think a common would be invading, this may not be. This could have been at some point in time they had something else or it could just be a really, really good looking common. But I would say the yard, and we'll do a walk over, it's probably three quarters Bermuda. So as you can see, tons and tons of Bermuda in here. Honestly, I think the only way to get rid of it would just be scorched earth, ripping it all out and replacing it. But the size of this yard is massive. And it would be thousands of dollars. Got some broadleaf weeds and some other things as well. Um, typical for this time of year. All in all, it's not a bad looking, bad looking yard right now. With coming out of the cold, the brown Bermuda shows through quite a bit. Summertime, it looks a whole, whole lot better. And we'll see more of that later this summer. And again, here in a few weeks when I'm back down for spring break. So what we have going on the backyard is completely different. I measured out earlier today how much sod to replace what was torn up. As you can see, a pool's getting put in. There's going to be a patio installed. Have it calculated right now. It's going to need about eight pallets at 400 square feet of pallet to get all this put back in. It's going to be a massive job. I was really, really hoping it would be ready and I could lay that down today while I was down here. It'll probably get done before I return for spring break, but if not, I hope, oh, I so hope that I can lay it down then because that'll be fantastic. So this is going to be a pretty good sized job lots of work they still have a lot of leveling to do smoothing things out that'll be super easy with the sand base but i look forward to getting it finished i'm really hoping this pool's open when i'm back down here in a few weeks if not oh well we'll head out to the beach the ocean wherever and still have a great time but the pool is definitely going to be nice so i'll bring you updates again on that here in a few weeks and see how it's going and see what we can do to uh, help the new sod and the existing sod, you know, do the best. So there we have it with the tour. Hope you all enjoyed it. I know it was a lot of fun. I really, really wish that St. Augustine would go away with Bermuda. Don't know why they call it St. Aug Alpha down here. That Bermuda seems to be doing a pretty fantastic job of trying to take over. It's just not being cut often enough and short enough to really give it the edge it needs. But, you know, we need to stay with St. Aug due to the rainy season. You can't mow your Bermuda every other day as it's needed due to that because it's usually a soggy, soggy mess. And there's about 15 to 20,000 square feet of turf here, or about 15,000, and that's a whole lot to do, unless you're Connor Ward. So again, thanks for watching. We will have an update on this yard here in a few weeks when I'm back down, maybe, I can convince them to put some things on it. Maybe not. We will see. With that, until next time, I'm Real Low Dad. 
please, if you like what I do, hit the like button and subscribe button. If you have any comments or want me to try anything crazy on this yard, drop them down in there. I'll see what I can do. Y'all have a good one.